Ooh, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to another one about my stumps world of tanks Xbox One replay videos. Platooned up with the great Joe Nine and uh, his IS Six. I'm in the 110, and we're on Ruinberg. 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 I've only played this map once, and I really like it. Again, only played it once though, so you know. It seems to lend itself to, uh... The I hate the new sounds. Uh, absolutely atrocious, so... Take note, World of, Ga World of Tanks, Wargaming. Putting the sounds out of the, uh... Training rooms and stuff in the game is just... It's, like, comical. It just doesn't sound good. Just... But that's just my opinion. But, uh... Again, this is the first time on the map, and right now I thought I was going left towards where Joe was, and I'm like, holy shit, I'm in the middle. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone else has the brain as small as mine, I guess, but I totally got disoriented trying to start from the right and going to the left. I was going across that right there, and I thought, yeah, here we go, and I ended up on the road going right straight up. I was like, holy shit, how'd that happen? So yeah, I've already lost. You know, almost 600 of my health. <laughs> Completely by my idiotacy. Is idiotacy a word? It is now. So I'm going to post up right here. Um, we've got quite a bit of tanks above me on the um, ABC lines area. And I'm going to watch this corner right here. T-34-1 come out and I decided I didn't like that. So I put one into him. And right now I'm the only one here. So if they push around that corner, I'm screwed. But Joe's on the mic with me, and he's like, you all right down there? I'm like, so far. I'm telling him, you know, hey, I'm already lost a chunk of my health because I'm an idiot. But uh, so far, they're not pushing down, so everything's okay. And um, that T-34-1 keeps on poking out, and I should have put one into him right there. But I'm worried that if I take a shot and miss, he's going to push around me, and then, of course, I have a fairly hefty reload time and I don't want that to happen SU-152 is getting into position there and I put one into him and then uh, Joe puts one into him and oh here goes that uh, T-34 no nope. not happening buddy you are fucking tracked guess what now that you're tracked and you don't have a repair kit obviously you're fucked we'll finish you off so that's the end of his game KV-5 is moving in to uh, try to get a better uh, jump on the situation. I go for his R2-D2, and it goes a little low into the left of where I aimed. Um, I kind of let it just a hair, thinking he was going to back right into my shot. But uh, that didn't work out. See, this map seems, like I said, I've only played it once. So this is the very first impression of this map. So you're getting a bonus here. You're getting a video of the 110 in action. And you're getting my impression of a map. Hey, look at that. Twofer. So, uh, yeah, playing this map this one time, it seems like this map lends a lot to take a small area, move forward. Take a small area, move forward into cover, you know, advance. Take a small area, advance into another section. At least that's how this game played out. Now, again, only one, I've only played the map once, so it just could be the way this these teams played out that that's how this worked. But... If it always plays out similar to this right here, where you have to take an advantage area, kind of get control of an area, then move forward to the next, it's going to be awesome. Really, seriously. Come around corner, finish off Darth Imperial, whatever his name was. So, uh, that's a couple kills. And uh, I know there's two tanks up ahead of me to my left. One will be that KV-5, and I don't know what the other one is at this point. I really don't want to poke out... But that's kind of stupid. I make this mistake often. The first person to poke out usually gets away with it. And the second person is the one that gets hit. <laughs> Not that I took any damage, but, you know. Uh, got tracked and could have been a lot worse than it was. Uh, Joe has moved back behind us to cover that alleyway because there's no one else up there. So he goes back there to check it out to see if anything's coming down on us. We were worried about flanking him behind us. But I think we pretty much got everything 
out of there. I'm going to take a chunk out of the KV-5, and then he penetrates me with that gun from that angle. Please, someone, 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 someone explain how that works. My angle, I know the 110 isn't like, you know, this big hefty armored vehicle on the sides, but that had to be like an 80 degree angle. How did the gun on the KV-5, which sucks, ever penetrate me right there? I just, shots like that bug me, because I shoot that shot and it bounces. And I'm not saying that the 110 is a big side-scraping king or anything, but at the angle I was at, it, he, I just don't see how it penetrated. But anyways, World of Tanks logic, I guess. We see our Black Prince going over the top there, and because he's going over the pro top and putting himself in, in, you know, harm's way or whatever you want to call it, it's time for me to move out and help him with the KV-5. Take 311 out of his turret. He's circling around, circling with a with a uh, black prince. <laughs> Take 313 out of him, and then uh, a teammate finishes him off. I never, I don't think I've ever seen a black prince circle another tank. You know, that's medium territory or fast heavy territory. That's not black black prince territory. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Uh, again, that's my small brain. My small brain thinks small things are funny. I guess if I had a big brain, big things would have, it'd have to be big to be funny, huh? There's only three tanks left. We got an artillery who's down close to our cap. Um, I figured, hey, let's not waste any expensive ammo on him. If I get over there in time to shoot him, this should take him out. But I let Joe go ahead of me because he has almost all of his health. So... Why not let him take a shot? This is funny right here. You're going to see our artillery, which is a bird. Look at him cruise in front of us. Watch him. Whee! <laughs> go, Bert, go. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was kind of funny. So, yeah, we're not going to get over there to get a shot on this last guy. Um, but overall impressions of the map, for the one time I played it, I like the map. Uh, it gives so many possibilities of different angles of attack and stuff. So, you know, hopefully, I, uh, it doesn't always become a everyone goes this certain way and it's always a fight right in that area or something. But you end up with 31,097 silver, 2,000 damage dealt, 407 assist, 8 penetrations, 240 blocked, which isn't a ton of blocked for this tank. A couple tanks destroyed. Uh, only a third class badge. Yeehaw. Not a great game by any means, but like I said, this was kind of a twofer video. I didn't, you know, it wasn't that it was a great game, but Joe and I come in first and second. He had 3,200 and something ex uh, damage. Uh, 143 on one shot out of the SU-152. T-34-1, uh, 407 assist, three shots for 643. Yag Tiger, 1 for 155, took him out of the game. KV-5, 3 shots for 947. And the Tiger P, I just spotted, but didn't do anything to him. But yeah, Joe came in first with 3,230 3, damage, 14 shots, 9 penetrations. That's decent. And I was in second place with um, 2,000 damage, 11 shots fired, 10 hits, 8 penetrations. 407 assist, hits received, 6, 1 non-penetrating. The 110, I'm not overly impressed with it. I see. I seem to recall the the uh, IS-3 being a much better tank, and this reminds me a lot of it, but not as good. I could be crazy though, but you know, it is what it is. As usual, comment up, thumbs down, shoot the red ones.